Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Dumbfounding Definitions, Dizzying Distinctions, and Diabolical Doctrines, a series running through some of the jargon of philosophy. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at what is machine learning. Now, machine learning is a subfield of artificial intelligence focused on systems that are able to improve on a performance task. Generally, artificial intelligence is the process of making computers do, or appear to do, the things that minds do. In the case of machine learning, the task is being, that's being imitated is learning itself, improving performance at a task over time. There are several types of machine learning, including supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. Supervised learning involves a computer trying to learn a function for creating some output given an input. The system is fed testing data of inputs and outputs. It then attempts to optimize a function to take new inputs and produce an output. You might imagine a predictive text software that takes the first words of a sentence as an input and tries to create a function to guess the word you will write next as an output. Unsupervised machine learning involves taking large amounts of data and finding patterns in it without any human intervention. It may involve clustering data using probabilities, hierarchies, or networked associations. Reinforcement machine learning involves providing a computer with real-time data and the ability to interact with an environment. The machine is then given feedback in the form of rewards or punishment for the actions that it takes. It then attempts to do behaviors based on the perceptions that it gets that will maximize rewards and minimize punishments, continuing to try different things and formulate algorithms that will maximize its rewards and minimize its punishments. Neural networks are another type of machine learning, rather they're a subset of machine learning, the structure of which is designed to mimic human neural functions in some ways. In this way, the algorithms to create outputs are mapped onto individual nodes that are arranged so that they can transmit data to another node and activate it if a certain threshold of probability is reached. Deep learning is a particularly advanced type of neural network, generally with three or more layers of nodes. This is quite complicated and we're not going to get into all of it, but needless to say, for the philosophical purposes, understanding that neural networks are attempting to imitate the actual mechanics of neurological functions within a brain should be sufficient for most philosophy purposes. Now, machine learning has many implications for philosophy. How should machine learning systems be trained given that using existing data may lead to their reproducing existing biases in human created data? At what point do neural network systems sufficiently mimic brain function that we would consider them to have consciousness or moral status? Do the outputs of machine learning systems actually indicate understandings of concepts or are we simply seeing what we want to see and bringing our own meaning to computers nonsense? Is it moral to create systems that may eventually lead to replacing jobs and livelihoods for people around the world? Check out our video on artificial intelligence for more on these questions. Also, of course, check out our second channel, XFi, to see how machine learning techniques can be used to analyze philosophical texts and maybe one day put philosophers out of business. But probably not one day soon. If you like this video and you want to see more, click subscribe, hit the notification bell, watch this video and more here at carnades.org, and stay skeptical.